Hi, I'm Farmer Caroline and we just wanted to do a little owl talk for you as so you can come in tomorrow. Um, and unfortunately our owl Echo is hiding today because it's so hot. So we thought we'd introduce you to Oscar. He's our standing owl. And um, yeah, so quick facts about owls for you. So we have a picture of Echo here. And as you can see from Echo's eyes, her eyes are black, but Oscar's eyes are yellow. So that tells us that Echo hunts at night time and we call those animal hunters nocturnal and we call owls that hunt in the daytime with yellow eyes diurnal and there's an even stranger one which um, if the owl has orange eyes it means it hunts first thing in the morning last thing in the evening and we call those ones are you ready for this big word crepuscular okay so I don't expect you to remember that one but try and practice saying crepuscular and you'll amaze everyone okay so they have huge tube-like eyes which help them to see their prey they are predators so they will hunt other animals that makes them carnivores they will swoop down with their big strong wings and their silent feathers and use their extra long legs which you can't see because they're often perched and grab at small mammals on the ground they have exceptional hearing really really good hearing um, and their heart-shaped feathers on their face is very similar to the shape of our ear look see and that helps them to catch the sound and direct it to their ears and echo actually has one ear above and one ear down there so she can hear above and below whilst she's hunting at night time the team here at god's Dead farm sorry you can't be with us tomorrow but it's so hot so we thought we'd show you how to do some of our pond dipping so Grabbed a net, I've got my nail mat, let's go and see what we can find in our pond. I'm going to put it straight down, turn it around, hey, I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to pull it up and tip it into my tray and see what we've got. Right, I'm coming back. I've got, whoa, they're all hiding from us. Let's see what we can find. I've got some fish here, and I have somewhere in here, I've seen it here, right beside this fish. I don't know if you can see. I've got one of our nymphs. Now we need to go and look at the chart, but that's either a dragonfly or a mayfly larvae. And then we've got some worms. <gasps> and something's under here, but I can't find it. So I think we need to go and take it over to our classification area, and we'll see if we can figure out what was in our tray. So, I'm going to put my net away so no one trips on it. I'm going to pick up my tray and we're going to walk it over to our station. Oh, so, over here we've got what we've just found in our tray and we've got all our different types of animals that we can find in our pond. Now we've got lots of different classifications of animals so we've got flying invertebrates, invertebrates and larvae so these guys are going to grow up to turn in hopefully to the flying invertebrates. Then we've got our freshwater mollusks and we've got our amphibians and their frog spawn. So we haven't got any frog spawn at the moment the wrong time of year. The same with toad spawn. I definitely haven't found a frog or a toad today, sadly. But let's see if you can have a really good look in my tray and then maybe you can pause the video and see what you can find in there. There's definitely lots of fish and lots of little tiny larvae and something is hiding under here that I don't know what it is but it's so fast <laughs> I think that's a water louse in fact I know that's a water louse but he's so quick just there it's just there oh no it's a shrimp there's a shrimp and over here is one of our water louse can you see that so see if you can spot anything else and we'll put a picture up with this post as well and then because we were worried because it was so hot today a lot of our interesting things are hiding we did some cheating pond dipping so in here 
we've got one of our snails, we've got a pond snail, but down at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, super fast whizzing around, is this, it's one of our pond uh, water boatmen. Now water boatmen give a horrible bite, but they have these big long legs like oars that propel them through the water, and you can see they're darker on the top, and if he plays ball, there you go, do you see there's a flash of sh silver on the bottom, that's to help him camouflage when he's in the water. So. I hope you've liked our little go at pond dipping. We're hoping to see you in September and you can do it for yourself. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Hi guys, um, it's Caroline again, Farmer Caroline. And now I have, um, I'm very lucky because I get to sit in with the continental giant baby rabbits. Okay, so I'm hoping that some of them will come over and say hi. We have five boys and two girls, um, and uh, their mummy was um, is Dotty, um, and she's just produced the most beautiful babies. So Dotty carried them around in her tummy. Well, baby um, a rabbit um, carries their babies around for 28 to 35 days roughly, and they can have up to 14 babies in winter, which is really cool. And did you know that we call a baby rabbit? something very similar to what we call a baby cat. Um, and yes, yes, it begins with a kicking cat, and it's either a kitten or a kit, or something like that, but yeah, so that's what we call a baby rabbit, which is quite cool. Now, um, I'm not gonna handle them too much because it's so hot, but rabbits actually sweat through their feet. Oh, oh, I will be one of them. Oh, there we go, there we are. So they're very pretty, aren't they? I won't, I won't hold them too long. There we go. And can you see their really, really, really big ears? And that helps them to hear if there's another animal trying to creep up behind them to try and catch them. Okay? And their eyes are on the sides of their heads so they can see all the way down their body as well. And that helps them to get away from other animals that are trying to eat them or trying to get hold of them. Okay? So, yes, yeah, so um, you really seriously need to come and meet these rabbits for yourself so you can feel how busy and soft they are and how absolutely gorgeous and they will be a little bit bigger by the time you come but just come as soon as you can it would be lovely to see you. Bye!